Liar Lisa Hines was there as cameras began to roll in 2011 on another independent film that has become a true family affair. Lisa? The Only Oli is the story of a learning disabled young man and his efforts to be like his dad. Filmed in Oakmulgee, Oklahoma, it's been cheered by parents and teachers for its unflinching portrayal of the challenges special needs students face. But how this movie was shot is what makes the film even more unique. Tyler Roberts doesn't make a movie the way Hollywood normally does. Most producers, producers in Hollywood would probably just laugh if they saw the way we were doing things, but I like it. Just one of the reasons he decided to make the Only Oli movie right here in Oklahoma on a shoestring budget. Uh, I'm going to light on this side, which is probably why we did it here, because I had nowhere to go. So do we have sound? So with the help of family and friends, Tyler began a journey of turning words on paper into pictures on a screen. I knew that there's enough resources here with crew and talent to do a full length feature here, and I know everyone here. So I knew that I'd have resources that I need for locations. So that's kind of why it, would, it was just a little bit easier starting from scratch, which is pretty much what we had. It was nothing to go out and get the things we needed, the places we needed, the props we needed, the resources we needed. So that's kind of why we did it here. And I think it worked out. And Tyler has one advantage that most startup producers don't, the location. More specifically, Green Country Technology Center. Because I went to school here and my mom teaches digital media here, I had a whole lot of resources. I was fortunate that I had a classroom full of students here at Green Country that helped crew. Yeah, didn't you say you wanted it over here? Sir? Just the building alone. I, we used the, the building for a school in the film and the nursing department. We used that for a hospital, which is a different location in the film, the interior, and the nursing students. So that's awesome, and that's all a part of this. And another really good thing is the multimedia students here. They got to help. We shot this film in 2011, so that was almost three years ago. The students here worked a lot on this film. Most of it was shot here at the school. So not only the community, but the students here at Green Country, the faculty and the administration here were behind us. So on days, like I said, whenever it was just me being a one-man band, when we were here on Green Country, whether we were shooting school scenes or we were shooting hospital scenes, they were actually here and they got to get some onset help with me and just a little bit of experience, kind of me bossing around, telling them what to do. But they, they, they had, a, I think they had a good time. They were excited to be there anyways. So that's, it was just an enormous help. One of the main things a lot of my filmmaker friends were asking me is they would just say, how did you get a hospital? Like, how did you get a hospital scene? Like, you have a bus, you have a bus full of 100 extra kids. How did you do that? I'm just like, ah, I can't tell you. <laughs> and because we had the good press, I think that everybody wanted to come out and be in a film, and we, we got some really good response from that. No, it was just because of Green Country. All the students, all the different departments helped out, it was great. It wouldn't be what it, what it is without Green Country. Okay, bye. Bye. Tyler and lead actor Matlock London wrote the screenplay and hired a local cast and crew to film the movie, all unpaid. For the only only, we didn't have anything. I mean, we really didn't have anything. We didn't need a whole lot of resources. I mean, we were feeding people and paying for people's gas, and really that was about it. There are a lot of things visually that I, I could do a whole lot better with finances, but I mean, when you don't have stuff, you gotta work for it. And I think that's why I see a lot of, not big films, but larger films, that just people dump money into them to put, so they can run at a certain time of the year, to hit a certain market. And I'm sitting there watching, and I'm thinking, man, a lot of money went into this movie and it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad, and I hate to say that, but it's because it's like someone just dumps a bunch of money in your hands and like, hey, go make a movie. And that's not the way it was with this, and I don't ever want that to be the way it is for anything I do. I want to work for it. And while shooting wrapped in 2011, the real work for Tyler just began. And it took about two years for me to do post-production, because at the same time, we had, me and my wife had a baby girl, and we were also building a house. So I was changing diapers that night, um, getting materials for my house, and then also editing a feature length film. <laughs> so, so it took me quite a while to get it put together. But at last, it's complete. Premiere night was a packed house at the Orpheum Theater. Uh, John, the manager there, was wonderful to let us come in, and he really helped promote it. Everybody in the community just was behind this film. We were very fortunate to be able to do a film in Oatmoggy. And Oatmoggy is a great place to shoot a film. There's actually several films shot here. 
and the reviews. More than one person said that my uncle is mentally handicapped or my, my cousin is, and they were just like, I love it. I love your movie. And I was like, thank you. You know, I, that makes everything worth it. makes it all worth it at the end of the day. When, you're, when your hands are bloody and you're out of breath, <laughs> it's like, thank you. That's all that I wanted to do, and that's all that we were trying to do. So now that Tyler knows what it takes to make a movie, he's not stopping with this one, saying, and these are his words, you really don't know how to do it until you've trucked through the mud. Just pretend, don't really die. Now the movie's only an hour long, which is good, because at the premiere, they sold out and it was standing room only. Afterwards, they had a Q&A to find out what the audience thought of the movie, and one lady who was in tears said, this movie changed the way I look at things and really touched me and my family. Tyler says there are some really touchy, tough things in the film and a lot of unfair situations for the main character, Spencer, which makes the movie kind of rough to watch in places, and he was afraid it might make some people mad, but he was overwhelmed by the response. Now, wasn't there a group that thought about even boycotting this movie? Actually, there was. There was a local Special Olympics group that wanted to boycott the movie before they'd ever even seen it. Someone had told oh. them about how unfairly Spencer was treated in some of the scenes. Now, Tyler admits that the hero of the story goes through some again. very tough stuff, and that unfortunately portrays how many people like Spencer are treated in reality. But the moral of the movie is how bad things happen in life, but you work hard and just keep on trucking along and you will prevail. In fact, Tyler had one lady come up to him, also in tears, and told him, I have a mentally handicapped son, and this is the stuff that we go through. This is real life. You hit the nail on the head. She said she loved the film. In fact, she loved it so much, she bought five copies of it. So you told me that when it comes down to creating the DVDs for this movie, Tyler did run into another problem, namely money. That's right, Rob. To raise the money they needed to make the DVDs, they had to get a little creative and went to a crowdfunding source called Indiegogo, where people can donate money to projects like Tyler's. So far, he's raised enough funds to take care of his expenses and get his movie out. So when will the movie be in a wider release? If everything goes as planned, the movie should be available this spring. Although Tyler is expecting another baby, so it might possibly get pushed back just a little bit. We will have a link to the Only Oli website, so if people are interested in the movie, they can just visit that link once the movie is available. All right, thank you so much, Elisa. You're welcome, Rob.